morning everyone welcome back to our channel today is day five of our pino cruises norway fjords i own a series but before we get into this vlog cue the intro something in the air always something in the air today we didn't drink too heavy last night but i think after all the walking and the excitement of yesterday going up the low and sky lift we needed a little bit more sleep we were meant to get up early and go to breakfast at the keys because i believe one of them converts into an omelette counter but instead we've had a lie-in we didn't really get much of a lie-in because they did their emergency drills and Captain Wesley was on the tannoy constantly, which is completely fine. I'd rather the staff be prepared in case of an emergency. So we are going to get dressed. Well, I'm dressed already. I've got my new H&M Nashville top on and it fits quite comfortably actually. So I'm pleased with that purchase. Wayne's just in the bathroom brushing his teeth. And once we've done that, we're gonna head to the Sky Dome, I think, to get a hot dog. Um, Wayne doesn't fancy anything from the buffet, even though I wanted to get a really healthy salad. But if we go up there, we're going to have to film it all for you guys and we really can't be bothered today. <laughs> so we're going to get dressed, get our coats on and go and explore. I think it's pronounced Aylesand. Aylesand. I think that's how it's pronounced. If it's wrong, please correct me. But we will see you next when we leave our cabin. So we are at Taste 360, formerly known as the what? Well, I keep calling it the doghouse <laughs> and I don't know why. Maybe that's another cruise ship, is it? Yeah. That's Might Royal Caribbean. Maybe, yeah. So I've just gone for a hot dog with onions and mustard, no fries. I've got half-eaten cheeseburger and fries. So I asked the bloke, could I get a piece of rotisserie chicken as well? Uh -huh. And he goes, no sir, that's only at PM. But it's 12.01, so I don't get what... Maybe he means like late afternoon, maybe? I don't know. yeah, but I'll, I'll, if I can get a piece of rotisserie chicken, I will. So it's the only thing I've not tried on the menu here. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we've got lunch with a view. If it focuses, I don't think it's going to focus. No, it's a bit too bright, probably. Yeah, it's a bit too bright. I mean, we'll get off, won't we? And I'll do it. But we met someone in the lift who said there's not really much to see or do here, isn't it? We'll make our own opinion. We'll make our own assumptions of that. She's a little bit grumpy. Yeah. So I'm going to. Everyone in that lift was a little bit grumpy, to be honest. Yeah. But if other people are having a bad time, don't put it on other people. Yeah. Anyway. Because we've had a brilliant cruise yeah. so far. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So we've come back down to Vistas before we got off the ship because we're going to get two drinks, aren't we? Hot drinks yep. to take off the ship with us. Yep. So that's where we are at Vistas. We're going to get two teas? Yes. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. You'll get your order. Thank you. You're getting your tea with milk on the side. That's what you said. I said I want milk me in my cup. He asked you, would you like milk on the side? And you said yes. Yeah, I want to put it myself. Oh dear, okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Good comeback. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got milk to drink anyway. Yeah, good comeback. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, where that queue is, you order your takeaway drinks. I'm actually going to get a big trouble. Yep, where that little queue is and pole. And then you pick up here at the pickup counter, pick counter <laughs> which makes sense doesn't it then you've got not everyone all queuing up for the wrong reasons mm. thank you Cheers. 
Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it is like a little town, isn't it? Yeah. But there's like to be some shops and bits over there, doesn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. It would do as we get off, it starts to rain. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Hmm. Just as we get off, it starts to rain. I yeah. We're going to put the camera away now just for a second when we get our umbrellas and stuff out, yeah? Yeah, we'll see you soon, guys. Hello. Hello. So, we've just got off the ship. <laughs> And the heavens opened. It's really windy, grey, cold, and raining. But we're although, happy. Although that's stopped now, but it's that fine drizzle that gets you soaked. So we've just come to the bus stop, which is literally across the road from the ship, just to finish our teas and get out of the rain. <laughs> Welcome to <coughs> Elsa. Yeah, so we just came to the bus stop to get out of the rain and drink our teas. And then we saw a little, seen a little train over there, haven't we? So we're gonna go and speak to them. There's an open top bus that we've seen as well, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go and speak to them. But there won't be no big splurges today because of the big cost that we've done yesterday. There is a subway, not a subway, like a, um, a walkway behind me, which says town centre. So we might even go and check out the town centre as well. But we'll let you know what we're doing when we know. But yes. until then, cheers. Welcome, Welcome to Alsund! <laughs> so this is the train that we were talking about a second ago. We might go and speak to them to find out how much that is. So it's been about 10 minutes since you last saw us. We was in that bus stop about 10 minutes ago. Now we've come under a shop doorway. Um, we've just checked the WAP app. Sorry about the hair. <laughs> Sorry about my hair, it's very windy here. We'll just check Jess's weather app and apparently it's gonna be like this all day. Miserable, rain, gray. So we are gonna go and have a little wander, but I'm afraid the camera's probably gonna to have to go away because obviously if we don't have a camera, we can't you know, record anything. So we need to make sure that the camera is protected and dry. So we're gonna to have to put it away until hopefully it might brighten up or until we go into a shopping center or something like that. Now, we was did say earlier that we wasn't gonna make any splurges or anything like that, buying anything because we, we spent a lot yesterday. But we just checked that little train and it's 29 euros each, so about 25 quid. And we sort of convinced ourselves that we was gonna go and do it. We were about to go and make a run for it to get the train and just realized that she left a purse in the cabin. So that's off the cards. It's a sign. <laughs> yeah. We could go back onto the ship and grab it, but we're not going to, are we? So we're just going to go have a little walk around the town centre and stuff. And hopefully, when we can, if it's dry enough, get the camera out and check in with you. And then, yeah, see what's the top row, isn't it, really? Maybe. Not much else <laughs> we can. Go, yeah. So just behind the bus stop, there's a walkway. I don't know if you can see. And it says the town centre and an arrow. So we'll go that way and see where it takes us. So we'll see you in a bit. So what have you just brought? Hey, this is Addison. So the shop doorway that we said we was in is actually an. I got your magnet. Is that Alison? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank yes. One sec. Let me put that in my pocket. Thank you. So what we're saying, the shop doorway that we was in is actually yeah. the bus station terminal, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a waiting room here where we found shelter. And there's also a little shop just behind Jess with jackets, hoodies, magnets, bits and bobs, isn't there? So we're probably gonna stay here for a bit longer, finish our tea. You just bought a hat, haven't you? Yeah, so you can, just yeah. I can walk around with the head screen because yeah. it's not my face and everything I'm bothered about, it's just my head gets yeah. so cold. And when we said that we didn't have our bank cards on us, just remembered she's got it on her phone, hasn't she? So we can still survive without the card itself because we've got your app. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to sit here, finish our drinks, and then hopefully, it looks like it's brightening up. There's a little shop over there yeah. as well we can go and look at. Yeah, in. it looks like it's trying to brighten up. There's blue sky, blue clouds and sky coming, so hopefully we won't be in here too long, will we? Is that wonky? No, it looks alright. 
Right, we'll see you soon. Oh, how much was your hat? Uh, £49 and the magnet is 59 It's probably going to be about 30 quid. Yeah, about £13. Mm. Right. You look very nice. Warm ears? Yes. Yeah. Right, see you soon, everyone. It's a must. <laughs> Jess, is this a shopping mall? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By bravery. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, well, yes. That's all right now. We're, we're happy now, aren't we? Yeah. We are in the dry. <laughs> we're in the dry, we're in the warm. Yeah. And we can look around some shops, can't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe get like a more region well, pastry or something. That bakery that was around the corner a second ago, everyone seemed to be ploughing into that. So okay. it must be renowned for something, mustn't it? Or it must do something nice. So we can check. Yeah, so we'll check that out later. Yeah, then the. Oh, Jess, do you remember? Narvison? Yes. They've got them in Lithuania, haven't they? Huh? Oh yeah, big bite. Oh. Tonic. Right, we're going to put the camera away now and just have a little. Yeah. We're going to put the camera away now and just have a look around the shops, aren't we? And then if we find anything interesting, we'll show you. Yeah. So cross over the street, go under. Yeah. Straight and turn right. Turn left. Right. Left. You turn left, then right. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the list of shops that they have in this um, Crema Garden shopping mall. So they've got a few. And I did say earlier that we're Costa Coffee in a hand, didn't we? And I was saying this doesn't do Costa's work as far as we know. It does. <laughs> because we've got these coffee cups off the cruise. We've just been in the Crema Garden and there's a little bakery caf and it says proud to serve Costa coffee. Yeah. So they do do Costa, yeah. But we're gonna go back in there and just finish off looking at the shops and then just found an entrance around the other side, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Where it comes out into this beautiful little street with buildings and, and that. some steps there that obviously can take up to old yeah. houses. Yeah, yeah. Should we go back in? Yep, let's go back in then, yep. Uh, these toilets here, they pay, you have to pay for these toilets. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the convenience, but it's five. Five. But there's a sign here saying public toilets one floor down. So if you go out of the doorway, there's that grey door there. That leads you to some stairs. And those toilets are free. So don't pay for these if there's no need to. But right, should we go and have a look around? Yep. Outside, yeah. I want to go outside before it starts raining. Again. Yeah, yeah. And there's the Costa shop. I'm not sure the uh, name of it, but that's the Costa shop there. Baker Inner. Baker Inner, yeah. Yes. We might have to pop in there later for a drink or something, yeah? Yeah, if you want to pay for it. Yeah, can do. <laughs> right, the place that we want to go is out here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's clothing shops, there's toy shops, sweet shops. It's not the massive, is it, place? But it's got everything you probably need in it. Yeah, clothing shops. There's a, a wine place here as well. Yeah, there's a, is it called Lindex? Lindex, yeah, there's women's clothes in there. But this is a place that I just wanted to show you. I should have gone to the bathroom actually. Yeah, this is a place. So, where's we come out of these doors here? There's a gorgeous little building. Yeah. You can see all that. This place here, it looks like a bar or a pub. But it looks lovely, doesn't it? Is it raining again? Again. Yeah. But that's the place. Is that a bar? It is, isn't it? Yeah. The Rang Rangiv? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. But once it stops raining, guys, we'll have a little wander down there for you. And have a little look about. It will make sure we go back inside for now. Yeah, yeah because the heavens have opened again. Not particularly. No, when I've got a f floating pub behind us with free drinks on it, no. Just 
Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping that we can get to somewhere else dry before it starts raining again. Yeah. And we do apologise about the wind sound. There's nothing we can really do about it. It's very windy here and we don't have a uh, microphone, do we? So there's going to be times where it's going to be very windy, but we can't do anything about it. Apologies. This looks nice, doesn't it, around here? And for reference, the beautiful building that Jess said she'd found is just that one there. So behind it, you've got the front. And as you can see, the sea is quite choppy. But this train is one hour and 10 minutes long and it's 290 kroner, which is roughly which is roughly about 29 euros, which is probably about 25, 26 pounds. One hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, seven, that is right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, they do hop on, hop off buses here, as you can see, but we don't know how much they are yet. We've not asked anyone. So we're assuming it's gonna be about 300. That's most of the prices for a hop on, hop off bus in Norway since we've been here, about 300. But don't quote us on that because we're not entirely sure we've not asked. But uh, we, we found another little pretty place to have a look around. There's a few shops here, isn't there? I'm sad. Yeah, just stood in a puddle and got her shoes wet. What, what to expect to wear white shoes? Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to have a look around here and then we're going to head back to the shopping mall because I swear I saw a tourist, tourist information sign. So we're going to go in there and ask, like, what is there to do? What is there to do? So we're going to go and have a look in there in a minute. But what's just found? Information. Tourist oh, is it? Is it? I don't know how we found it, but we just happened to be here. Brilliant. Right. If you want to go back that yeah. way, I'll say it was this way. Yeah. I don't know how that happened, it's just been like, we've just been put here straight away, haven't we? But let's go in and find out what we can do for free. Ooh. Maybe get a map or something, that would help. Yeah. You were screwed up and I was like... Yeah, it was like... <laughs> It's like the time where you asked that bloke in New York, where's the um, Empire State Building? And he goes, just there, love, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe get a, um... oh, how much is the bus? Because I just said about the hop on, hop off bus, because we didn't know how much it was. 450. 450 for a day we'll ticket. You'll get a 10% discount on your next yeah, And a child is what? 225. 225, yeah. yeah. Free Wi-Fi. Yeah, is there a map? At least we can, or places of interest that we can maybe have a look at. We are here. Yeah. You see the whole city from there. And so you can go to this is a raccoon coffee shop, raccoon. And to the left there are some stairs that you can Okay. And up. And that's a lot that's the one with four hundred steps. Yes. It? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And then you can visit the Wonder House, Wonder House. That's the only house that didn't burn down in a big fire. I heard about that. Yeah. They mentioned that on yeah. the cruise ship today. What about in this local area? Is there anything worthwhile visiting? I struggle um, with stairs, you see, but Yeah, um, you can go over here. There's museums, not free though. Um then over here you have the old part of the town. And here we have an antique shop that will be free to go inside okay. and look. It's maybe really interesting and the lighthouse as well. And here the small uh, road here can take you to the church, which you can look at. And oh, you have a good church. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So, which way? So, if we're here, it's probably like this, yeah. isn't it? So, you go that way and round. Ah, oh, it's over yeah, there. It's like this, yeah. It's straight over, but you have to go around to get to Is the lighthouse free? Is that to mm -hmm. go? Can you walk around it and have a look yeah, at it? Yeah, it's really, really small. It's a part of the hotel. Uh, oh, okay. okay. So it's for honeymoon couples, a suite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's possible to uh, walk there. Okay. So, Just this way, but walk back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. So what should we do on that then? What appeals to you? So if we're here, yeah. if you go behind, yeah. walk up 
you can go to that 400 steps. So I want to do that, but there's no way you're going to be able to do 400 steps. I'm not doing it on my own, no. There's no way you're going to do 400 steps, is there? No. Yeah. Way. Yeah, I don't mind doing the lighthouse. That quite looks nice. Should we go and look for the lighthouse here? So we've just left the tourist information centre, which is that building behind the orange boat, and we're looking for the lighthouse. Apparently, it's a very romantic spot, and it's meant to be something nice to go and look at. So we thought, yeah, we'll pick that, and it's actually just there. Where is it? Just there. So we're going to walk round and go and get a few pictures of it and then I don't know what we're going to do after that we think that's the lighthouse anyway she said it's quite romantic it doesn't look very romantic from here unless it's a different lighthouse we've got to look for I'm not sure but we're going to go to that one anyway and have a look we have sun woohoo and we've just googled it that is definitely the lighthouse that the lady was telling about telling us about in uh, the tourist So we've got to walk around these buildings and all the way down to it. So it should take us a few minutes, but at least it gives us something to do, doesn't it? See where that blue truck's just gone past? No. Right down there. Yeah. See where the first boat is? Yeah. So we've got to walk around there. Oh, okay. Well, it should take us a good 10 15 minutes, shouldn't it? Yeah. That'd do something, wouldn't it? Anyway, it shows something, and we want to see it, don't we? It looks like you can go in it by looks of it from here. We'll let you know anyway. And again, apologies if you didn't hear any of that. It is very windy here. I so badly want this, but we've got the keys on deck eight. So unfortunately, I'm not going to go and try that. But on the way to the lighthouse, we found another little piece of heaven. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Yeah, I was just saying that it's very pretty. Yeah. I was saying that I want to go and get fish and chips. But we've got, but we've got the keys, haven't we, for that? Yeah. No, but we've got the keys for that though, haven't yes. we? Yeah. Right, do you want a nice picture? Yeah, right, okay, one sec. So you may have heard us mention a little while ago and the lady at the Tourist Information Centre said there's a viewpoint with 400 steps. It is actually, in fact, that building on the top of the mountain there. I will probably struggle with 400 stairs to be honest. So I God knows how just it would feel. So on this trip we will not be doing it. If there was a lift or something like that then yes of course we would. But unfortunately 400 stairs is probably about 390 more stairs than just so we're on the other side of the water now. So we was over there a minute ago on the heated seats and that little pavilion thing is where they apparently do the best fish and chips now and we're gonna go and have a good picture or try and get a nice picture by the ship there's a little bridge in the background that you probably won't be able to see that we're gonna go and get a couple of pictures off later but we came round now and we're on this side of the river or whatever it is and we're making our way down that street there in a minute all the way down to the lighthouse which is down there somewhere I'm loving that though see the P&O cruisers yeah, the ship. Yeah, you can see the actual ship from there and you can see the front of the ship there. Isn't it amazing what a little bit of sun can do? Yeah. And we trainers have tried. Well, the, the sun's gone back in again now, it's grey again, but at least not it's not... Insane, I promise. At least it's not raining. Yeah, yeah that's one good thing. Rain. Yeah. Right, should we carry on? I choose to wear brand new white trainers on yeah. a trip. I yeah. really do. Yeah, I'm just going to update them on there. Yeah. Um, again, if you want to see what we got up to live, Follow this link just here to all our social media. Um, people have been enjoying the updates so far, haven't they? Apparently so. I, mean, I'm, I get internet now and again, but it's not secure. It's not really that strong, is it? So I'll get it for a little while. And hi hey, to everyone who's yeah. come from Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. You've all been very lovely. We've had a lot of people asking us questions as well. Yeah. Um, I own P&O, I own a chat Facebook 
Greek was a really nice place. And also, we advise you to find your itinerary sailing. Someone always makes a Facebook group for that particular week. We so was G315, wasn't we? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that's just the name of the... Yeah, that's the, that's the sailing. Sailing. Yeah. But yeah, we're having a lovely day, aren't we? Yeah. It's turned out to be really nice at the end. Yeah. Right, let's go to find this lighthouse. Yes. So we've made it to the lighthouse, it's just over there. So what we've got to do is walk under that little archway and make our way round. Now we already walked past this here about five minutes ago, or two minutes ago actually, and it looks very old and nice, doesn't it? Yeah. You can still see the cruise ship. You can still see the cruise ship in the back there. But yeah, this looks nice. I don't think you can go in now. I thought I saw people walking in, but I don't think you can. It's probably locked, but we're going to walk through here now, aren't we? I don't know the name of this road. I, I did see the name on the road on the mat on the uh, wall, but I can't remember the name of it now. It's Aska something. I think it was AXA. It was AKS something. It begins with ASK. I saw. Ukkata. No, it's not what I saw. We'll find it in a minute. Yeah. I did want to say something though, I didn't give Ailes a chance. I thought it wasn't going to be very picturesque, but I take it back, it's very yeah. It's only because when we got off, it started to rain, you was cold, you was wet, you were soaked through, and you just wanted to get back on the ship. And now I don't. And now, I love it. Yeah. So you did judge it a bit, didn't you, before actually looking around. But there is a hotel called the, I can't, the Thon, or Thon Hotel which looks quite nice quite expensive you're probably paying for obviously the views but yeah let's go and have a look it's like a little fishing town this bit isn't it what andre no no watch me but i know about it yeah I don't know. I don't think I've ever watched it. Oh my it. god, it's the best. You need to watch it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever watched it, does. Now, as you can see, we're going to be walking along that pathway and we're going to be probably exposed to all the elements. It's probably going to be quite windy. So you're probably not going to hear us if we do speak. Apologies for that again. There's nothing we can really do about it. But this looks very nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And this is where people reside. So you no know, knocking on doors and keeping the voices down to a minute. Yeah, obviously, yeah. That goes without saying, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you've got to be very lucky if you're living in these places, haven't you? I mean, some of these houses are beautiful. Is that the name? The name the uh, it's not the name that I saw on the wall. It was, it was a three. Le it was a three-worded. Oh, okay. It's just painted on the side of the building. Yeah. How beautiful is this? Yeah. This is the Norway I wanted to see. I couldn't see this in. Oh, we're here. I Yeah. It was all upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's the Fisherman's Museum. There's a, yeah, is that? The Fisherman's Museum. Fisherman's Museum. They're the opening times here. It's probably closed today. Uh, so, as you can see, um, it is 70 kruner. kruner. Um, I guess children are free by the looks of it. And I, I don't know what, what day that means, Lurdag. I don't know. I guess they're the opening times 12 till 4, yeah. but I don't know what Le Dag means. Might mean every day. Dag usually sounds for day. I don't I'll know. Google it in a minute. Yeah, well, you can Google it in a minute, but yeah, it looks shut anyway now, anyway. I'll Google that now. Yeah, Give us a all the lights are off and the door's shut, so I'm assuming it's shut. Yeah, Law Dag, what does Lord it mean? Dag. Probably, there's week, probably means weekdays, I bet. So it opens on Saturday 12 till 4? Yeah. And that's the only day? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. It's good to know, isn't it? Well, right. We get more tourists on Yeah. Saturday. I don't know if we have to go up here or down there. I'm not sure which one. Oh, well, we'll go up here anyway. Yeah. 
Nope, I'm going down there, I don't feel safe. I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. Yeah, as you can see, the sea is quite rocky today. Yeah, I've probably regretted this now. made it to the lighthouse. Now it's something like that. I'll show you the name in a second. Now, <laughs> now apparently you can go to one of the hotels. Do you remember the name of the hotel? It begins with B doesn't it? I'll go and show you in a second again. And it's for newlyweds. <laughs> so you don't have to be a newlywed but if you want to book the night I'll show you the details. You have to go to another hotel get the key and book it. And you can stay at the top there somewhere. It's ideally for newlyweds, but anyone can stay there. You don't honeymoon suite. Yeah, the honeymoon suite. But it's quite nice, isn't it? Now, what Jess was on about, I'm going to go and quickly show you. The name of it, now, now obviously, it's probably not pronounced how we say it. It probably means foot or something like that. But. But when we was at the Tourist Information Centre, uh, the lady that helped us said that we should check out Raccoon Caf. They do nice teas and coffees and stuff. So I think that's what we're going to go and do now. And then maybe spend another half hour and then get back on the ship. Is that a plan? Yeah. That's brilliant. Is that a plan, yeah? Go to Raccoon Caf, get a drink, warm up, and then maybe spend another half hour off the ship and then get back on. Yeah, I yeah. love it, yeah. It's very windy as you can see my hair. I absolutely love it here yeah. so much. Right. It's so beautiful. We apologise for the sound, nothing we can do about it. We might need subtitles along here somewhere, <laughs> won't we? One way to travel the world is by cruise. We wouldn't have ever have gone to any of these places. No, no I've way. I've probably never even heard of no. them. People are so lovely in this country. So Norway is at the top of my bucket list. Whoa, right. Sorry, at the top of my tourism list of yeah. places to visit. Right, next stop, Raccoon Cafe. at all do you think about the things we used to do